Yeah, be safe, because you get one take. <laughs> one take. When I turn back around, well, that's good, what? I won't be coming back up. This latest installment features director Antone Fuqua and Denzel Washington teaming up once again for The Vigilante, rolling into theater on September 1st. Action. Is that what time is? No. It's a movie. Equalizer 3, the final chapter, signals another important milestone as Washington and Fanning share the screen once again after starring in 2004's Man on Fire. This latest installment, Robert McCall, moves to southern Italy to escape from his past. but later discovers that his new friends are under the control of the Sicilian Mafia. The following events turn horrifying, where Robert unleashes his past self to protect his new friends, according to the film's premise. going to be going through this film and finding out just what had to be done to get this film put together. But before we get into more of these moments, some trivia for you. What was Denzel Washington's previous role before this installment of Equalizer? Leave your guesses in the comments down below and stick around to the end of the video to find out if your answer was correct. <laughs> First, we get to hear from the director talking about McCall's internal battle. There's an opportunity for him to possibly find love, find a home. Um, what he's missing is love and a home. Um, not just with one person, but with uh, a town of people. Uh, so the opportunity for him to redeem himself, if you will, and it's not for anyone else but himself. He's going through an internal battle, you know, doing the right thing, uh, helping those who can't help themselves, handing out justice his way uh, to evil people. And for those of you who don't know, this isn't just based on an idea. The concept of the films were based on the crime drama series that started way back in 1985. Having OCD as the character description specifies, McCall's role in The Equalizer was being a retired intelligence officer whose skills obtained from his past allow him to save lives as a private detective now. She and my daughter went to school together. You know, they were at, both at NYU, so I, 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 I stayed in touch vicariously, if that's the right way of saying it. But um, um, it was weird. <laughs> You know, because I'm like, oh, she's a grown woman. She's looking at me. I'm going, she was like a grown woman then. Next, we hear from Dakota Fanning on working with Denzel again after Man on Fire. After all of these years. It has been almost 20 years and I was quite young, but um, that's not an experience that um, one forgets. And it was very interesting working with him again the second time I felt the same, like my body felt the same feeling that I remember feeling all of those years ago. Development of this film started way back in 2018 when Fuqua announced to continue the franchise. Principal photography began on October 10th, 2022 on the Amalfi Coast in Italy. Um, me and Bob, I don't, I don't have to tell him 
what I'm thinking. I literally, this happens today. Today, I'll, I'll thinking something, and I'll, go, hey Bob, you know, he goes, you want to shoot the bag over here? I was like, yeah, Zach. He goes, look at the camera. He, he already moved it over there, you know. So things like that happen. He's my brother, man. Filming continued in the region until November 20th, after which it moved to Naples in early December, before wrapping production by January 2023 in Rome. We're in this little town with, of 800 people and to meet the real people. And, you know, he, he learns, I've learned a lot uh, being in Italy and I think the audiences will, will appreciate uh, the uniqueness of, of, of these villages that we shoot in and, and the chaos in the city like Naples. But real quick, make sure you guys check out our Instagram page linked down in the description. There's a ton of interview moments and memes, so make sure you check it out and give us a follow. My favorite moment for sure has been the scenes I've had with Denzel and getting to um, work with him as a, an adult. <laughs> and then of course, just like being in the scenes with him and it's most people's dream to get to work with him once. So to get to work with him twice at different stages in my life um, is a real treat. Interestingly enough, there was mentioned that the casting in Man on Fire helped Dakota Fanning's casting in The Equalizer 3. The director explained how he and Washington were discussing the late Tony Scott when the conversation turned to Man on Fire and Fanning. Laid a lot of men to waste and there are consequences for that. And he's dealing with his demons. I think it's very different, for, 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 for me, it's very different than the first two films. I think it's really much more personal. I was, how old is Dakota now? Fuqua said, and we were like, oh yeah, she's about the right age for the role in The Equalizer 3. And I said, that would be cool to bring her back. So that's what sort of happened. He sees something that isn't isn't right and um, it will, might take him on a big journey, but the, the root cause of why he does what he does is, is usually something um, that really only affects one person. Speaking with comic book, Fuqua, who directed Denzel Washington in all three Equalizer films, explained why the upcoming third movie in the trilogy also functions as a sequel to 2004's Man on Fire. Denzel constantly surprises me because the environment changes. It's like an athlete, as you said. If Michael Jordan's playing against uh, the Celtics, there's one game. If he's playing against the Lakers, it's another game. Like each each situation Denzel's in, he's so much in the situation, in the in the moment as that character. We never talked about it collectively, he said, but I've thought about it that way. You know, when Dakota Fanning said she was interested, I thought, yes, this is Man on Fire, but years later. And this is what he's doing. One of the scenes that we film in Atrani, it uh, takes place at a at a church at the top of hundreds and hundreds of stairs. <laughs> and I, again, having worked in Atrani before, I was prepared prepared for the the track up. We even get to hear from him and where they shot and seeing the script. And immediately when we got there, when I was scouting, my whole body just sort of, you just have to slow down. And as you're walking up the steps, the steps to the church, it's like, I don't know, 700 steps or something like that. You have to slow down. Bittersweet sentiment surrounds Equalizer 3. While it's always welcome to see Robert McCall return and kick some tail on screen, it's also set to be the last time that Denzel Washington portrays the character. Every sinner has a future. Every saint has a past. And uh, he has, as we all have, have sinned uh, extensively. And, and, you know, it's about his, I don't know if the word's redemption, but hopefully salvation and about uh, him opening his heart. And as far as the answer to our trivia question, Denzel Washington was credited in the project, A Journal for Jordan, as director and producer. But his previous role he was in was The Tragedy of Macbeth as Lord Macbeth in 2021. It is a, it's a brutal, it's a brutal track up to, up to the top. And I commend the crew and every single person that had to carry 
heavy equipment and cameras and lights and things up those steps. I only had to carry myself and it was almost too much. <laughs> and speaking of films that Denzel Washington has been in, it can be mentioned that he does have two more projects currently being worked on now, Gladiator 2 and The Piano Lesson, to which he only serves as producer for that project. This equalizer is more personal, is much more personal than the others. The other ones are, are personal, but this one's much more personal because this is something that he, the battles with himself as well. It's not just with the bad guys. But we wanted to turn this around to you guys. What were your thoughts on all of this? And have you seen this movie yet? If so, what was your favorite part? Let us know what your thoughts are in the comments down below. Make sure you're subscribed with notifications on for more videos just like this. That's it for today though. We'll see you all next time with a brand new video. Bye guys. I loved getting to have our characters have that sort of, um, challenging relationship with one another. There's definitely no one better to uh, go up against than, than Denzel. <laughs>